What is up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John and today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of a six month review of Apple Music, one of my favorite music streaming services. And today I'm gonna to talk about what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'm gonna take you through uh, some of the software and what it's like to use it. So. First thing is first, what I love about Apple Music is the fact that Apple has such a large library of music. So really you can stream anything from a movie playlist. So say if you like a song from a movie, you can usually find it. Although there have been some instances where uh, some soundtracks are unavailable, such as from the movie Django. I, I like to listen to a lot of hip hop music. Uh, I, I like Rick Ross. If you're someone from who, if you're someone from South Florida, you'll understand that Rick Ross is a pretty big artist here. But anyways, he did this really cool soundtrack for Django Unchained um, a few years ago uh, called 100 Black Coffins. And it's a pretty good song. I like it. It's one of his better songs. And he made it for the movie. And in the movie, it, it's pretty cool. The scene is a pretty cool uh, movie scene but I was unable to download it. So some, some movie uh, titles, songs you can get, some you cannot. <clears throat> but for the most part, you, should, you shouldn't have a problem finding things that you enjoy. So uh, here I've got some Action Bronson, so a little bit of something from New York. I've got some uh, funnier music like Blueface, uh, Breaking Benjamin, I've got Bush, I've got The Carters, which is Jay-Z and uh, Beyonce together, Cheap Tricks, some old rock and roll. I've got some Coldplay, so I've got some modern rock on here. I've got David Essex, DJ Khaled, Drake, of course, and I've got the Beatles. I love the Eagles. I think the Eagles are sort of an. If you if the Beatles were to go country, I think they would sound like the Eagles. I think the Eagles are phenomenal. I love the Eagles, and of course you can't go wrong with Drake. You can't go can't go wrong with. Um, a little bit of Kendrick Lamar, two uh, Grammy nominated artists. Uh, like you, like I said earlier, you will not have an issue finding multiple artists from multiple genres on Apple Music. It's a fantastic service. So not only do they have uh, individual songs and albums that you can download for, I pay $9.99 a month for Apple Music, which is really awesome, which is really inexpensive. Uh, but you can you can also they have a, what's really nice they have um, a dedicated section for you so it's really a mix of um, they sort of it's like genius but on steroids if you guys remember um, genius on iTunes it is like that but on steroids they have a lot of uh, they have a chill mix for me they have a new music mix for me they have a favorites mix so. It's really a collage of, or a, it's really a collage of all of the music that I listen to currently, which is really cool. So I've got some Gucci Mane here, got uh, some Kendrick Lamar, got some Jay-Z, got the Migos, of course, Drake and Rick Ross, some of the guys that I listen to the most. I've got a chill mix here. So uh, what's really cool is Elton John comes up. I love Elton John. Uh, Pink Floyd comes up, the early years, some, al some really cool albums. London Town comes up, uh, some, and also I get a really cool new music mix here, which some, which is composed of some stuff that I've never seen before. I've got a list of recently played. Uh, I can discover music uh, with friends, so follow people you know to see the music they're playing. I can do that, which is really cool. So my, if my dad were to have Apple Music, for instance, I could do that. I could see what he is listening to. So today's playlists, uh, which is really cool. So that is sort of like a radio station, but it looks like it's compiled of all the stuff that I listen to. So I see some Migos there. I see some Kendrick Lamar. I see some, I see some uh, Post Malone. Uh, I've got some Urban Throwback stuff here. Again, a lot of really cool stuff and uh, it will compile all of these different artists that I listen to and give me new suggestions. So that's really cool. So today's albums 
It's bringing up stuff because I listen to the Beatles. It's bringing up stuff because I, I listen to some jazz. Really cool stuff. Uh, so aside from the For You function of Apple Music is the Browse function. And this is where, they, where you really um, can find new stuff that isn't synced up to your old stuff. So what I mean by that is this is purely stuff from the iTunes charts. So we get the daily top 100, uh, the daily top 100 for, for global. We've got for the United States of America, the United Kingdom, Canada, Mexico, Australia, Japan. We've got España, France, Deutschland, Korea, Russia, Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, which is really cool. I've never actually taken a look at this section in detail before and I'm really, it's really cool to see all of the different um, countries that I'm able to get music from. Bahrain, Barbados, Belarus, Belgium, Belize, Bolivia, Botswana, Brazil, the British Virgin Islands, Cambodia. Really cool stuff that I have the ability to sort of transcend my own personal music and discover new music from different genres, from different countries, from different ethnicities. Uh, really exciting stuff. Apple Music had, is doing a great job with this. Uh, got some Let's Do This. I'm not sure what that is. So we've got today's hits from Apple Music Pop, Get Up and Go from Apple Music Hip Hop, Wake Me Up from Apple Music Pop. So this, uh, we've got some Groove from Apple Music Dance. So uh, looks like some um, energetic type of music um, to get you going, to get your day started, but from also different genres, it looks like they're making up, mixing up some stuff. Got some hot tracks here. Uh, and of course, uh, new music. So uh, now what's interesting about new music is it looks to be um, hip hop and rock, which is really a mix of what I listen to. So I'm not sure if they're compiling this new music from my from my own personal music, or if it's just literally um, what is new. Uh, it looks, let's take a look at here. Bad Sons, On The Line, Riverdale. Hmm. It looks to be uh, just new music in general, but it starts off with a lot of hip hop and rock, which is what I listen to. So of course you can explore genres, moods, top charts, and music videos, which is really cool. You can see what Apple is into. So there's a section titled We're Loving, uh, and they've compiled a list of albums that they like. So we've got Juice World. Marin Morris, Solange, Ariana Grande, Two Chains is on there, Natty, Natasha, Gunna, Omar, Apollo, Kelani is on there. All of these great artists are on there that Apple likes that they want me to listen to are some things that I can see here. I can zero in on uh, pure focus. So this is really cool. So if I wanna listen to something that will make me focus more, I can uh, check out these playlists from Pure Focus, Mellow Days, Headspace, Pure Yoga, really cool. Um, On Beats One is another service that they've uh, introduced here. So it looks like um, some videos where uh, people are sitting down and talking with the artists, similar to like The Breakfast Club. If you've ever watched The Breakfast Club, they bring in a lot of artists and they sit down and they talk with them and they're about their lifestyle and how they got started. This looks very similar, but in a little more controlled environment. So that looks cool. There's an interview with Foles, an interview with Action Bronson, who I like, uh, Khalid, Free Spirit and Finding Himself. So a lot of really, so that not only are they giving us access to music videos, but they're giving you access to um, to interviews and uh, talking heads, talking head style videos where they really go in into depth with different artists about music and about their lifestyle and about uh, what it means to be an artist. So really cool stuff. Really, so they're they're adding on content, uh, which is really cool. So what you're paying for is not only just the ability to access 
<clears throat> the wide variety of music iTunes offers, but you're getting content and um, music videos and things of that nature as well. So uh, secondly, we get, or thirdly, I should say, we get aside from, so we've looked at my library, we look, we've looked at For You, we've looked at Browse. Now, last but not least, we have radio, so Beats One, a hip hop radio station. Uh, Nikki shows Love to London hosting YXNG, Bane, and Miss Banks. So we've got some indie music. Uh, and of course, you can add your own radio stations and uh, listen to radio stations that you've listened to before. So I've got some smooth jazz radio here. I've got some house radio, electronic, uh, Mac Miller, rest in peace to him. Holiday hits, New Year's Eve uh, radio that you can listen to. Really cool stuff with Apple Music. So you've got radio, you've got browse, you've got For You, you've got library. You've got tons of access to all types of different music from different genres from different artists, from different countries. You can go into depth, watch music videos, watch in-depth interviews with these artists if they've done them. Some, some of the artists I listen to are a little bit older. Uh, some of them actually have passed away, unfortunately. So it's gonna be difficult to, you know, they're not gonna, it's not gonna, they're not gonna have content for every artist out there, but for a lot of new and upcoming artists and a lot of artists that are out there who have who are fine artists who are changing the music scene um, who may not be top of the charts but who work hard and who are experimenting and who are innovative they're doing interviews with people like that and it's really tremendous to see apple music is a great piece of software to get into for listening to music for exploring music for discovering new music my name is john you can get Apple Music from the, you can sign up for Apple Music at the iTunes store or by visiting the Apple website. Um, there are different payment options depending on whether you're a student or whether you are a, an, an individual. I am a student, so I think I get a, a discount. But if you are not a student at a college or a high school or a middle school or an elementary school or whatever age you are in school watching this video, if you're an individual who is an, an older gentleman or an older woman, you will uh, have to pay uh, a little bit of a premium, but like I said, you're getting access to great content here on Apple Music. And of course, when you buy a subscription to Apple Music, it is compatible across all of your Apple devices. So your computer, your iPad, your phone, your watch, etc. And of course, with Apple products, you can expect everything to be seamlessly integrated and work well together. Therefore, Apple Music is a convenience good. My name is John, and I will see you in the next video.